Welcome to Anywhere Math. I'm Jeff Jacobson, and today we're going to talk about three dimensional figures. Let's get started. All right, for today's lesson, there's going to be a lot of terms and a lot of pictures and drawings to, to make. So make sure you take really, really good notes. Okay, so today we're talking about three-dimensional figures. And before we get to any examples, there's quite a lot of terms and vocabulary words that we need to talk about. Uh, so first, if I look at all of these, well, what are they? Well, we call them solids. And solids are three-dimensional figures that take up space. You've got a cube, a pyramid, triangular prism. Uh, we got a cylinder, a cone, and a sphere. They're all solids. Some of these look like they might belong together, and some of them don't. Okay. The next word we're going to talk about are polyhedrons. Well, which ones of these are polyhedrons? Polyhedrons are three-dimensional figures, right? But all of the faces are polygons. So that means if there's anything that looks rounded, like a sphere, it's not a polyhedron. So this doesn't work. Uh, cylinder is also not a polyhedron. Cone, not a polyhedron, right? It's rounded on this part here. That's, the base is a circle. That doesn't work. But these ones left over. Yes, pyramid is definitely a polyhedron. Cube, for sure. Triangular prism, those are all polyhedrons. Uh, all of these faces are polygons. Okay, next, we're going to take a look at a cube and talk a little bit more about some more vocabulary words to describe this cube. First word we're going to talk about is face. Well, what is a face on a, on a polyhedron? We're not talking about a face like this. Face is like a side of a polyhedron or a 3D figure. So if you look at this cube, how many faces does it have? Well, we've got the front and the back, that's two. We've got the left and the right, that's two more, so that's four, and we've got the top and the bottom. So all together, this has six faces. Next, uh, let's talk about this part right here. We call this an edge. An edge is where two faces meet. That's all it is. So we've got an edge here where this face and this face meet. Edge right here where this face and this face meet. So if we look at this cube, how many edges does it have? Well, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and on the bottom, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve edges in this cube. Next word we're going to talk about is right here. That's called a vertex. And a vertex is where three edges meet. So right here, this vertex, there's an edge, an edge, and an edge where they meet. That's called a vertex. Well, how many vertices, that's plural for vertex, does this cube have? So let's see. We've got one here, two, three, four, and then on the bottom, five, six, seven, eight. Eight vertices. Here's one to try on your own. Next, we're going to talk about a couple very common polyhedrons. And the first is a prism. Okay. A prism is a polyhedron that has two identical parallel bases. Okay. And we're not talking about base like two-dimensional, like when you find the area of a parallelogram and it's base times height. We're talking about uh, sides or faces as the bases. So, for example, this is a prism. It is a triangular prism. And the reason it's a triangular prism is because the bases are triangles. You name the prism after the base. So right here, there's a triangle. Here's another identical triangle, and they are both parallel with each other, okay? which is why it's called a triangular prism. The way I like to think of prisms as 
Think of the base as whatever shape is being stretched. Okay, so it's like we've got a triangle here, and I take that triangle and I stretch it out to make a prism. Uh, now, one other thing to know about prisms is that these faces uh, in between the bases are always going to be parallelograms, and we call them lateral faces. Okay, so these these faces in between the bases are lateral faces. So here's a triangular prism. Uh, here's another example of a triangular prism, right? It's smaller, uh, but same thing. You've got a triangle and you're stretching it out to make a prism. Uh, here, you could call this a square prism. Here's a square, an identical square that's parallel. Another prism, and notice the lateral faces are still parallelograms. They're rectangles, but rectangles are parallelograms, so that's okay. These are prisms. The next polyhedron we're going to talk about is a pyramid. Now, I'm sure all of you know pyramids, you know, like the pyramids in Egypt and stuff, but let's get technical about it. Uh, a pyramid, unlike a prism, only has one base. So this base is a square, which means we call this a square pyramid. If you had a pyramid like this, well, the base here is a triangle, so this is not a square pyramid, it's a triangular pyramid. So you name the pyramid after whatever shape the base is. Okay. Now if we look at these pyramids, the lateral faces, these here and here, they're not parallelograms like they are in prisms, instead they're always going to be triangles. Okay. So here are pyramids. Okay, example two. Draw a rectangular prism. Now, it's a rectangular prism, which means the bases need to be rectangles. So to draw it, you need two identical rectangles. So I'm going to start with the first one. Next step, you just go up and over a little bit to draw your second and try to make it identical to this. At this point, all you need to do is connect the corresponding angles. So top left, I connect with top left. Like that. Bottom left with bottom left, top right with top right, and bottom right with bottom right. So now you can start to see it looks 3D, like a, a rectangular prism. Last thing is you have to make the, the lines that you can't see, we call those the hidden lines, you make those dashed. So this is where you need a pencil. So I'm just going to erase, that's going to be a hidden line, because I wouldn't be able to see it looking at the prism from the front, that would also be hidden, and so would that one. So that is the rectangular prism. Let's try one more. Okay, part B, draw a triangular pyramid. Triangular pyramid means the base is going to be a triangle, so I'm going to start with that. And then remember, all of the, all of the sides come up to a point, come up to a vertex, so you put a point up here, and just simply connect each of those uh, vertices up to that point, like that. And then you got to make your hidden lines. So I'm going to make it as this, this face here is going to be the front. So these are going to be all hidden. Okay, and that is your triangular pyramid. Now real quick, if you wanted to do a square pyramid, you got to be careful because if you do the same technique and draw a square point and then up here, <clears throat> you're going to look at that and say, that looks really weird, right? Well, the trick is to not draw a square. Make it look more like a, a parallelogram, kind of slanted. So if you draw it like that, then you put your point up there. Maybe I want to go over a little bit. So I can see that that line and that line are different. Connect those, connect those, and then make your hidden lines. Hopefully that looks a little better, right? That definitely looks better than the other one. Let's try one more example. All right, here's our last example. Draw the front, side, and top views of the solid. So we're going to do this triangular prism. So the front view is if it's sitting like this, 
what does it look like coming from the front? Well, when we're drawing these views, you can't see 3D. So when we draw it, it's just going to be a 2D uh, shape. So from the front, all you see is you see this bottom line and that top, and then it just looks like a straight line coming down. We can't draw it angled like we know it is. It's just coming straight down. So the front view, make sure you label each of these. Front view would look just like a rectangle. There's my front view. Next, the side view. Again, well, that would be coming from the side. Well, we know the side of this triangular prism is a triangle here. That's one of those bases. So side view is just a little triangle. Um, and keep in mind, these heights here should be the same, right? Okay. Uh, so keep that in mind when you're making your drawing. It wouldn't make sense to draw a huge triangle if that was my front view. And finally, the top. What does it look like when you look at this figure from the very top, straight down? So if I turn it and you look, well, it's going to look like a rectangle with this line right in the middle, okay, for that top edge. So that's your top view. So you're going to have another rectangle, but that's going to have that line going right through the middle. Here's some more to try on your own. As always, thank you so much for watching, and if you like this video, please subscribe.